Okay, let's jump straight into this effect. For that, create a timeline with the Polaroid which you can download for free in the description. Drag the Polaroid above your footage and size your footage now into the Polaroid. You can do this in the effect controls. Just play with the position till you like the frame. When you are done, make a screenshot and continue do this for more Polaroids. Just find a position which you like. Switch now the timeline and go to the projects panel and drag and drop the screenshot of the Polaroid into your timeline. Go then to the effect panel and search for the basic 3D effect and drag it to the Polaroid. Back to the effect controls you move 5 frames and set a keyframe on position, scale, swivel and tilt. Bring now the Polaroid to the position you want. With the basic 3D effect you can bring some 3D effect to the Polaroid. Just play with the settings till you like it. Go then to the first frame on the Polaroid and play with the position and scale to move the Polaroid out of your frame. You can do the same with the transform effect by the way. There you can also bring some motion blur to the effect. You can still make some small adjustment till you like the movement. Don't make it too slow and don't make it so fast. Make it look smooth and elegant. Let me speed this steps up. This looks very nice. Do now the same steps with the other Polaroids. Just make sure to bring your footage to the right frame. Make a keyframe after 5 frames position them drag and drop the basic 3D and customize them till you like them. If you have any questions let me know in the comments and make sure to download the Polaroid in the description. In the effect panel you can also add the noise effect to make the look of the Polaroids not so digital. Bring the noise level to around 15 and copy and paste it to the other Polaroids. In the description you can also download some dust overlay which you can also use for a bit of dirty look. Just make sure to set the blend mode on screen. Next you go and create an adjustment layer and drag it to the timeline. Make the adjustment layer 6 frames long and drag and drop some of my effects on it. I have many packs with very nice effects. Just check them out and let me know if you have any questions. Let's use some shakes in this example. Just drag them on the adjustment layer and you are done. The you can also create another adjustment layer to add something like a small flash so the footage does not look so boring. As mentioned, check them out in the description. In the description, there is also a link to my free film burn pack, which is a must-have. Subscribe to my channel for more.